Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge RGCAC Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for February March 2023. These are the required files which I have copied to a folder. Task 1 Evidence Document Create a new word process document which will be used for the evidences during the task. We need to give the candidate details on every page of this evidence document. So open a new word document, insert header, give your name, center number and candidate number in the header so that it will appear on every page. And we need to save this as M23 evidence followed by your center number and candidate number. So let's save this. Save as inside your folder. M23 evidence followed by your center number and candidate number. We are going to do the spreadsheet task now. Open and examine the file m23batting.csv. So I have opened the file here. This is batting.csv. Make sure everything is visible. Look at this corner and double click on any border so that all the data are set properly. Delete row 2. So right click on row 2 here on this number. Right click, delete. Insert a new row at the top of the spreadsheet. So we have to insert a new row. So right click here, insert. Merge cells A1 to B1. Place the text Tavera Cricket Club in this merge cell. So we have to merge from A1 to B1. So merge and center. Now we have to type the text here. Tavera Cricket Club. Merge cells A2 to V2. So A2 to V2 we have to merge. Place in the footer right aligned. So go to the footer, insert, header and footer. In the footer right aligned you need to place spreadsheet edited by so type spreadsheet edited by followed by a space your name center number and candidate number so give a space then your name center number and candidate number save this as a spreadsheet with the file name m23 cricket followed by your center number and candidate number so let's come back to the normal view view normal now save save as inside your folder m23 cricket followed by your center number and candidate number and it should be saved as a excel workbook so excel workbook save Format the spreadsheet to look like this. Format row 1 to have 36 points sans serif, white text on a dark grey background. So this is 36 sans serif. So the font is Calibri which is already sans serif. The size is 36. White color and dark grey background. Row 2 should have 18 point black text on a light grey background. So this is 18 
black text and light grey background. Now we need to format the data in this way. You can see all these are aligned horizontally and vertically. So select all this data. horizontally and vertically and you can see here this note out is on two lines we have to wrap the text and same way number of matches played and average score so select these three cells give wrap text now increase the width of this row three Now you need to reduce the width so that it will be wrapped on to the next line. Number of matches played. It should come on four lines so we need to reduce the width a little more. Increase the width of the row. And all these names are right aligned. And all the data are center aligned. So let's select all these cells. make it central light. Place in cell U4 a function to count the number of matches played by this player. Replicate this formula for each player. So these are the number of matches played. So we can use a count function. So equal to count Select this, these cells B4 to R4. So count function will count only the numerical values uh, which are non-empty. So it will count, it will only count the non-empty cells which are numeric. So these are the number of matches played. Now you can replicate this formula for each player. Place in cells B33 and B34 functions to display the highest and lowest scores for this match. So in B33 we have to display the highest score. So highest score is the highest from these values. So let's give max function. Max will display the highest value. So max of this column. So this is the highest score. We need to replicate this for all the matches. Same way we have to find the lowest score which can be done using minimum function or MIN. The same range is chosen. And now you can replicate this. So this is the formula for max function B4 to B31 and this is the formula for min function. Place a replicable formula in cell B4 to calculate the average score for this player rounded to one decimal place. Average score is given as total run score divided by number of matches played minus not out. So average score is equal to 
total runs code total runs code will be the sum of all these values so sum of these values divided by so divided by number of matches played is cell it is cell u4 here yeah, the cell then so that should be given in bracket minus not out so minus not out is the cell t4 so this is the formula equal to sum of all these values that is the total run score divided by the number of matches played which is calculated in u4 minus not out edit this formula to make sure that cell contents are not displayed if this player has played fewer than 5 matches that means if the number of matches played is less than 5 we should not display anything in this cell so we can edit this formula equal to if the number of matches played that means u4 if u4 is less than 5 if it's less than 5 nothing should be displayed so we give just double inverted comma otherwise only average needs to be calculated so you can see the formula will be like this if it is less than 5 nothing will be displayed so we use to empty uh, show empty cell we give double inverted comma like this otherwise only we will use this formula to calculate the average score now you can replicate this save your spreadsheet print your spreadsheet showing the formula so to print the spreadsheet showing the formula you have to go to formulas show formulas and click again at this corner and double click so that all the data are arranged properly to show the formula go to file print make sure the row and column headings are displayed for that you need to go to page setup in sheet you can give row and column headings the grid lines are displayed so grid lines give ok page orientation is landscape so you need to set it as landscape the contents of the cells are fully visible so we have uh, selected all the cells properly so it is completely visible sort all the data so after printing you should come back now go to formulas remove the formula again you need to adjust the columns sort all the data for the players in descending order of their average score select this data now go to data sort we need to sort by give my data has headers because we have headers selected now we need to sort it by the descending order of their average score so just give average score descending 
so we have to give largest to smallest give ok so when you do this you can see the empty cells will come on the top those players who do not have an average score displayed must be at the bottom of the list so we need to bring this to the bottom so it's better to sort it the other way around so i'll just select once more sort it to smallest to largest give ok so that all the empty cells will be at the bottom now what we have to do is now we will select only the data till here the empty cells will not be selected now select this data and sort again go to sort you have to sort average score in the descending order largest to smallest give ok so now we got in descending order and all the empty cells or the players who do not have average score are at the bottom of the list. Save your spreadsheet with the file name M23 Cricket 1. So save as M23 Cricket 1 in your folder. Print your spreadsheet showing the values. So now we need to print the values. So go to file, print. The row and column headings are not displayed. Grid lines are not displayed. So go to page setup, sheet, no grid lines and no row and column headings. And it should be landscape. The contents are fully visible and can be easily read. So all the contents are fully visible. Now you can print this. So this is the end of the spreadsheet task. Next task is file management and web page which will be done in another video. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.